Hi, hello, welcome to all. Now I am discuss about generation of computers. Generation of computers means it have talamara talamara so So computers order generation pati nama pakla. Computers have totally five generation. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, and fifth generation. So computers have totally five generation. Let us see first of all first generation. First generation was discovered in nineteen forty to nineteen fifty six. First generation was first invented the vacuum tubes. Vacuum tube has a other name is called thermodynamic value machine. First generation input system was not normal like we use today. First generation input system was punched cards and paper tap. First generation output was displayed on printouts. First generation computer is worked on binary systems. Binary means zeros and ones. Example for first is first generation is Yenak and Edwag. So next we have to see second generation. Second generation starts 1956 to 1963. Second generation invented transistor technology. So second generation size is very means uh, compared to first generation is small and the second generation working time is also less as compared to the first generation. So next we have to see third generation. Third generation starts 1963 to 1971. Third generation computers were developed by integrated circuits. Compared to first and second generation, the third generation size is very small and the heat heat also produced less amount. Third generation's maintenance cost is very low. Third generation computer is also used as a commercial use. So this is the third generation. So next we have to see fourth generation. Fourth generation start 1972 to 2010. Fourth generation computers were developed by using microprocessor technology. Microprocessors means small small chip. So fourth generation size is very small as compared to the fourth generation and it also produced less heat. Fourth generation computers are portable. Portable means we have we have we have the easy way to use it. Next we have to see fifth generation. Fifth generation start 2010 and we until date we have to use it and it is very full, very useful to us. Fifth generations uh, have software and a hardware update konuvanga. It has a large memory capacity. So, this is multiple tasks could up at the same time, like three or more than works could up. So, fifth generation has artificial intelligence, quantum computation, nanotechnology, parallel processing, etc. So, thank you all for watching this video.